What's going on, everybody? Tonight, I have the last addition to the newest Fast and Furious set that's been out around here that I needed. The Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. These are the other five or four cars. Integra, Land Cruiser, Land Rover, and the Mercedes. You can barely see that Land Rover on there. But, uh, yeah, I already have the Integra and a similar Land Rover from past sets. And I picked up the Mercedes and the Land Cruiser last weekend. And I just needed this one, and I found it today at a Kroger. So I was happy to find this. This is a brand new casting for this year, 2024. I don't know if it says the... F so it's from Tokyo Drift, okay. Don't quite remember it, but tons of cars in those movies. Anyway... We're going to take a look at this guy, as usual. So, this is, like I said, the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. This is basically a somewhat modified, more racing version of the Porsche 911 964. Uh, the 964 was the, the model or the generation... Or not the model, just the generation of Porsche, I guess you could say, uh, from 1989 to 1994, I believe. This was a pre or this was a production model. It wasn't tr a uh, track only car, but it was pretty much just a uh, more powerful and slightly modded and extra. <laughs> version of the regular 911-964. Very clean. It's almost like a Zaymac color. Nice and simple. I like it a lot. Clean. No fancy or crazy decos. It's usually how I like them. So there is a 964 casting. Which came out in, I think it was 2017. This was a set called Track Day. And this was the debut of the casting. I think it's only been released maybe four times. Maybe five times. And I know there is a, Another version that looks really nice coming out in a Boulevard set soon. But yeah, so this uh, this new one in Fast and Furious here is pretty much the uh, upper scale, more powerful version of this guy. 
which you can see a little bit of similarities, but lots of differences, obviously. But same time period, same generation. Uh, this was uh, car culture before it was like full deco. So some of the cars didn't always have headlights or taillights and they only cost about, man, I think they, back then, like 2016, 2017, I think they were only about 250, 270 something a piece, maybe not even $3. But yeah, that's the regular 964, uh, 1989 to about 94. And this is a uh, new model, like I said. This is not to be confused with um, this guy here, which is the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. This is the 3.8. This was in the late 80s, early 90s. This guy, totally different model and totally different car. This was from a totally different time period. I believe this was like the uh, early 70s, maybe 73, 74, when the 2.7 came out, RS. So yeah, a lot of these Porsche castings get kind of confusing, but I really like this one as well. I'm sure we'll see this in premium sometime. That'd be cool. But yeah, that is the, uh, that was one of two. No. No. One of three new models in this Fast and Furious set. Which is unheard of usually. We've seen the Integra and the Land Rover many times in the basic, the Land Rover, but this Land Cruiser is a new model, as well as the Mercedes-Benz and the Porsche here. So, took you guys long enough to release a set with more than one or two new models in it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, that is the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. Let me know what you guys think. I'm a huge fan. I like the uh, the simplicity and the cleanliness of it. And it's just a neat looking model. But anyway, yeah, like and subscribe, guys. I hope you have a good night. Take care.